everybody and welcome back to another episode how is everybody doing oh man i'm doing so good right now hopefully you guys are doing great if not don't worry today is gonna be a very very special episode i got some stuff to show you that we did on stream last time a couple things i did off candy can to make the world a little bit a little bit better a little bit nicer a little bit more lived in uh so man I i'm gonna let you know right now i don't know how i'm recording this episode right now because i have a little bit of a food coma residue just oozing all around my body yesterday was thanksgiving so happy thanksgiving for all those who celebrate it in the u.s uh it's a very lovely day full of turkey and ham and a bunch of stuff man i'm gonna let you know right now let me go down the list of everything i ate yesterday okay i'm gonna let you know uh i ate turkey ham uh i ate uh, mashed potatoes uh sweet potato i ate um what else did i eat stuffing i ate cranberry something with cranberry on it i don't even know what that was but it was tasty oh uh, my you know what I don't even know how I'm, I'm, I'm walking around. I don't even know how I'm talking right now without me slobbering all over my, my face because I ate so much. Oh, man. And we got so much leftovers. Oh, man. Spend the day with the with the fam and some friends. We had some great times. Oh, it, 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 Thanksgiving is a great holiday. It's a great holiday just for the simple fact we can stuff our face and not even have to worry about it. But you know what? I'm, I got to go to the gym. After this episode, I'm literally going to the gym. I'm going to spend 16 days in the gym. I'm not going to come out. I'll probably take my, my, my laptop over there you know i put my speakers my headphones i put it in the corner while i'm doing dumbbell presses doing some squats to get the booty all shaped up all right um and, and i do some episodes from the gym so live from the gym we're going we're, i'm gonna bring the twi twitch i'm gonna twitch down at the gym too it's gonna be a fantastic time i just gotta get I, I, man i gotta I, I gotta i gotta move i gotta walk around i should get a standing desk or if anything but i had a good time let me know if you guys uh, did celebrate it what you eat this is the question of the day i really want to know uh two things okay either it could be either or for the people who don't celebrate it. So if you do celebrate Thanksgiving, what you eat? You know, what, what you eat on your Thanksgiving day? Uh, and if you don't celebrate it, or if you just want to answer, what's your favorite food? You know, give me your favorite foods in the comment section. The shadow is coming to get me. Let me get out of the, sh the way of the shadow. What do you like to eat? What's your favorite food, okay? Uh, put that in the comment section. I'll pick it on the next episode. I'm a food boy. I love me some food. You know what? I love me some sushi. I love me some uh, some some, uh, some barbecue. Uh, I love me some pizzas, okay? I love me all kinds of food. You, how about a club? Club sandwich. I'm a, a club sandwich fan. Let me know in the comments what, what would you like to eat and oh, and or what you eat for Thanksgiving. I'm, I'm curious to know. Uh, but man, good times. But let me know. Uh, also, uh, what what is your favorite? Um, uh, you know what, like color too. What, what's your favorite? Color? <laughs> just, uh, you don't have to talk. Can I say that for another day? Mine is aqua blue. Okay, listen. I'm going to show you some stuff. Let's walk around. Let me show you some things that we built. If you notice right behind me, we actually did this on stream. I modified it just a tad to make it look a little cuter. But we did a water tower. We finally did the water tower. Look how nice. Let me flip and show you. Man, I would love to know your favorite color, though. You just throw it in there, too. Listen. We, we built this really cool water tower uh so we've made it a little more rustic it was looking like a little western water tower at one point but i i, I changed it up it looks really really cool it looks like it definitely belongs in this farm and we got water all up in there we got even a way for the water to come down we got a little step up with some mossy and stuff so this little pipe right here coming all the way up uh it's connected look at this it, dripping it's drip drip dripping on that thing look at that and we got a little hopper on the top and on the bottom with a little pipe you just drop water right there look how cool put some iron blocks to give it a little more security a little more stability uh it's not rusted it's gonna rust soon up to find go Bing, boom boom bum Optifine's broken, by the way. Um, <laughs> what happened to my Optifine Zoom? I gotta figure it out. But listen, this is a really cool water town. I'm in love with it. Look how cool. It's dripping a little bit, but I like it. <laughs> it came out really nice. What do you guys think? So we added this here. Also, I added this little step up here because this really needed it at this point to get inside this little storage area of the barn. Looking very lovely. Also, come with me. Let me show you some stuff. A scale of 1 to 10 wa of water towers. What do you think? Let's just take a, a step back. Look at it all the way from over here. I love it. Perfect. Oh, and we got rid of the uh, little vine farm we had there. I actually moved it all the way back there somewhere. And we are in our brand new shader, too. This is the version 1.9 cylinders, which is the most amazing. Um, oh, it's so good. And we also have this volumetric one. I think if I remember to put at the beginning of the episode a little time lapse elapsed with the volumetric shader. But check this out. Add it one and two new houses modified versions of the ones we did here just to add a little more life i like this one so much it's like a little tiny baby tower i gotta take some of this this is too much vines too much get, get out of here vine it's too much maybe a little less something like hold on 
like this. That's how I want it. Uh, but this really cool little tower with a little extension in the back right here. Definitely no furnishings inside, but we'll spend an episode just doing a bunch of interiors. Uh, but I like the way this came out. Look at this one. Isn't that cool? I love this one. And then also we get this little baby one over here too. It has little pop outs. Oh, look at that vine overgrown. Too much, too much. Settle down, vine. Uh, but very cool. I love this one. Look at all the space this one has. A little fireplace in the back. We definitely got to do some interiors though. <laughs> uh, but this one is really cool. It has a little extension on the side. So we just added a couple. Hey, chicken, where you been is that robin robin are you no you're not robin you're robin's second cousin on this mother's side uh but that's pretty cool i love this one so we added a couple more buildings just to give a little more life uh to the area and also the bakery we did on the last time i love that bakery so much so so much but today we're gonna add even more sexiness to it while we watch the sun setting in our face it's so nice please cover your eyes if it's too bright uh but <laughs> we'll get rid of shaders now we're gonna go and jump into the build of the day we're gonna be doing that lumber mill lumber mills at slash sawmill whatever Whatever. It counts. It's gonna be cool. It doesn't have the water wheel like some lumber mills have since we use our uh, water wheel for our AFK fish farm for no apparent reason, but it was cool. Uh, but it's gonna be a really cool little sawmill. I got an idea. So let's get some stuff together. Um, ch hi, chicken. Can I help you? Chicken just want to be famous. Chicken, you famous now, boy. Somebody named this chicken in the comments section. Um, but let's get let's get started. Look at this beautiful shade. Oh, that sunset though. Okay, let's get some stuff together and we'll start building that uh, lumber slash sawmill right now. Okay, so watch this. This is what I got in mind right here. This is the dimensions that I think might be pretty good. So we're going to have like our main little storage area where we keep all of our wood. And, and just like we mentioned last time, we're going to make all these functional buildings. So this building is going to be the one that houses the majority of our wood whenever we chop anything down and we do like mass bulk storage of wood. We're going to keep it in this little storage area right behind it, which is going to be cool. I'm going to kind of separate it into uh, just all the wood types. And then we're going to have like all, all the uh, a section for the strip, a section for the regular logs, a section for the chop chop lobby loggy loggies uh we're gonna put all the planks uh, and other stuff all, uh, everything trap doors this is gonna be our main spot for um for all the storage when it comes to well not all of this the majority the bulk storage of our wood so this is where it's gonna go we've got a little overhang plan right there and then this is gonna be where it's gonna it's gonna look like this is where the actual sawing takes place um so i'm gonna have uh one section here one section here so it's like two sections for sawing uh it could be any kind of wood whatever we'll probably have one that is um maybe this one behind me that we're not gonna Gonna have any wood being sawed there Every, everything is probably just gonna be like just prepped to saw some wood here uh, and over here we'll have like a uh, maybe a log that's being cut in half or something uh, so we'll set this up on this side and then also Check this out. <laughs> I've been setting this up uh, off cam. cam. Just making some circles, uh, just uh, a couple uh, Rick random circles like we did over here uh, for our crop fields. But this is where we're going to have our tree orchard. So we'll set that up. I don't know if we're going to set it up this episode. This could be something for a stream project because it's really, really simple. Nothing to it. It's exactly how we did uh, our crop fields. But this is going to be for the trees. So we have uh, uh, different sections uh, for every tree type. So that's going to be pretty cool. And that horse back there. It's glorious. Look at that. I gotta go get him. Uh, but uh, we got that set up for the future. But for now, let's get this started. So uh, the outline is pretty simple. I think it's pretty cool. I, uh, let's just see how we can set this up. Um, so what I'm thinking is every corner here, we're just going to go up with regular spruce logs. I think I'm going to take it up by five. And I want to do a big roof here. So it's, uh, it's not going to, I don't think we're going to have a second floor. But we could have like a little loft area uh, that we could uh, maybe work out somehow. Uh, but I want to have like a big tall roof on this one uh these here it's gonna be like a smaller roof so you're gonna picture it here this is gonna be a big roof here and then this is gonna be smaller roofs but peaked also going in one straight line like this so i think it might be pretty cool so what i'm thinking about here uh going up it's a good amount one two three four five i think let's go up by five there uh, so that's a little corner piece. Um, I'm not sure these corners yet. So we could take these out for now. Let me go back and we could just modify as we go along. But let's see, I'm gonna go up here and then I'm thinking about going up right there and there and have that as our big door entrance. So we can have a little gap in the middle. Uh, I don't think I want to keep any of this cobblestone, but for now, uh, I'm just going to come in with spruce and strip like this. Let's just do a little mixture and we can come in like so. Hopefully this comes out okay. Let's see. Um, and I'm thinking like that. We could do a little window kind of thing. A little cross beam action maybe and a little up and down thing thing right there. We'll see. Uh, but I want to do like a... I want to make probably this section here a little taller 
And how I fell, that was bad. Uh, I want to maybe make this section a little taller, have a nice little arch right here. Uh, and maybe what we could do is, hmm, you know what? Maybe even little pop outs. I don't want to overdo this though. I'm, I'm thinking about, I'm, I might be overdoing this because if I do something, maybe a little pop out right here, then I could maybe even pop this extension out going down like that, going up. Hmm. This might be a little bit too big. I think we might overdo this. We, we're probably going to... It's fine. You know what? We haven't overdone something in a while. We've been doing nice little quaint little things. You know, the last big boy we did uh, was the stable. So we might overdo this one. Whatever. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> I'm going to overdo it. No, it's fine. We'll see. Let's... Uh, whatever. Let's go. So maybe take this one tall right here. Let's see if I can parkour. Yes. Yes. Uh, that's good. So maybe take this one a little tall like this. Uh, so we have a pop out here. Ooh, actually, you know what? Let's take this out. Like I, I just planned it over here. Why didn't I do it? Like this. Take it out right here. One, two, three, four, five. Another five right here. Come this way. Let's take this out and go back down. Let's see. We just planned it. I didn't pre-plan this, so hopefully it comes out okay. We're just building as we go. Hopefully it's all right. Uh, and then maybe here we we'll do like a little peak kind of thing, like so. Something like this. A little peak right there. Let's do a little skeleton of what this will look like. So something like that, you know, I'll modify that. Uh, we have to, I'll take this little piece out and just tip that up. <laughs> so something like this, that's pretty cool. Um, I think that might be pretty good. And then we have a good template for a nice little roof. You know, if we do this, I might repeat that on the other side. So we'll, we'll, if anything, we'll just do the little skeleton off Cam. Um, But something like this, and then we come this way. And then this will go right over here. We'll probably do a mirror job to that guy. Uh, that's just wrong. I placed that incorrect. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, and then back here, you know what? We're also going to have those logs you see, like, randomly scattered. Uh, maybe with a little tarp over. Maybe not. Uh, just, you know, y y I'll show you what, what, what I got in mind. Uh, so something like this. We're going to keep going up here. And then this one also will re be repeated right here. And something like this. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is this a good um, outline, design, look? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so we're going to pretty much match that guy to that. I'm going to do this same thing on the other side. You know what? Let me do a little off cam cam skeleton work of just this section. Uh, and we'll do a little more progress. And then we'll set up this in a second too. But let me just see what we're going to do with this bad boy. I don't know. I think it's going to be awesome. All right. So this is what we got in mind right here. Check this out. So a big roof right here big roof right here the little top little uh, peak in the center we got the same thing mirrored on the back looking very cool uh, i'm not sure i'm gonna do the overhang over this i'm not sure if we're gonna do it or not but i'm leaving it these uh little markers in case we do do a little overhang kind of thing like whoop right there maybe we'll see i don't know we'll see but uh add these details uh so right here we got these upside down dark oak stairs here here and all around uh and then over here i want to do a little more detail in between so we can have a little bit more interest a little bit more uh definition eh, when it comes to this part so i think i'm just gonna come around with dark oak like so all the way around so just like this so we can match the top part and then in the middle part i'm thinking about bringing in some trap a door do we have i don't have hold on hold on let me make some how dare me not have uh, the the trap door of my dreams hold on a minute uh let's break up some of this bad boy and we'll do trap door let's see how this looks like so let's build a little uh you know what also looks good in between also um What's it called? The um, uh, gates, fence gates actually might even be better. I think I'm gonna go with fence gates because just looking at just now like this, it's a lot of spruce. So I think I might come in here and put some oak fence gates maybe. That might actually do the trick, let's see. Uh, so let's do a couple of these and then do a, something like this. Let's see what this looks like. It contrasts a little bit more. It might look a little better. Oh yeah, there we go, look at that. I do a lot you know what also might even do oh come on i think i might you, you know we're, we're going old school how about if we do these trap doors man we don't we hardly ever get to use these trap doors anymore since we're kind of like into the spruce right now but what if i do this oh i think we got a winner i think we got a winner we're bringing back the old school trap doors look at that i don't know we might change it again but i think that might be the nicest thing uh, it's bright got a little contrast to it you can still see the the spruce in the inside 
I think when I do that, add some buttons to those little uh, exposed beams there. I think that's a good thing right there. I don't know. We'll we might come back to that. Uh, but let me, let's put these around real quick. Just uh, real quack. <laughs> quack, quack. Who's a duck in here? Raise your hand. Um, so something like this looks really awesome. Uh, on these, I decided to lift these up a little more. I uh, don't think I want them on the inside here. I might do some kind of little retainer wall so you don't blend in what's happening here with what's happening over here. Uh, but I think bringing these in at a higher level uh, might just make it stand out a little more. And I think, yes, we're definitely going to leave these open. I'm just going to put a roof on the top. Uh, so let's do this. Let's go all the way around right now. Looking very awesome. So we got this section. Do a little hop, skippity, skip. But you know what? I got my Air Sauces Jordans on. So I, you know what? I, 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 it lifts your elevation at least by six, six to seven inches at least. Um, <laughs> whatever. It, it's true. I'm a scientist uh, when it comes to my sausage Jordan. Uh, but yeah, it's looking really cool. Uh, and then up here, I'm not sure what to do with the roof. I'm thinking about bringing the spruce in. If anything, we might do an outer border of something else. But ooh, I think if I just do all spruce though, Kind of like we did over here, kind of like we did over here. Uh, we could play around with the styles and break it up a little more. Uh, so I think I might actually do that. Let me see. Do I have it on me? No. Let's make some. We have plenty. Uh, let's see. So let's do, you know what? I'm thinking I might make all of this into a stair action. So let's do that. Uh, let's do this. That is not even. I can't see well. Uh, let's see. Oh, right here. We'll make all of these. And we can do a pretty good amount. Let's see with that. I think we're good. So this is what I'm going to do. Let me go up here. Let's see. How can I... Oh, man, I wish I had some ender pearls. Man, we got to get to the end soon. I really want some elytras, some pearls. I want to do some stuff. Uh, we'll probably do that very, very soon. We just got to find a place. Uh, but this is how I'm going to do this. So we're going to come out right on this edge here. Let's see. Something like this, right? I'm going to come in here with an upside down stair action like so. And then we're just going to bring it up just like this, just like that. So upside down. I think I'm going to go regular upside down straight like that for these just to make it a little simpler. So we're going up like so. And then we're going to take it up. So it's just really easy because it's one full block and one stair going all the way up. So it's going to go like this. And then this is going to meet up right in the middle. So upside down stair here. Full block. We're probably going to do a stair here and a stair like that and make it very nice i think i might cut this part out and just come on down and meet up right here to that section so let's see let's do it again on this side see how it looks like uh if anything you know what let me do this off cam cam this is simple i'm just gonna repeat this i'm gonna put it on this side i'm gonna do the same thing on this side on the other side and which are filling in the gaps in the middle but hold on let's get this done all right, here we go. Progress update. So I filled in all these little spots here. You know what? I actually started uh, trimming down a little bit of the little border outline we had here, the little skeleton of the regular spruce, because it was just getting in the way. So I just made it all open. It looks really cool. I'm going to definitely break it up. I'm not sure if I'm going to put windows, though, little extra pop-out windows here. I might just uh, just mess with the texture a little bit. Uh, but I love this little uh, contrasty uh, section here with all the oaks, the strips, and the regular planks. Look at so cool. Uh, but check this out. I started playing around with this. It looks so boring. Uh, so I had a little pop out. The tiniest of pop outs. A one extra. <laughs> one extra little pop out. Um, I might have even extended it. But I think you know, it just gives a little bit of interest on this side. Just to make it look a little cooler. Uh, so a tiny little pop out here. With just a couple windows. Nothing too crazy. I like the way that came out. Look at that. So this side is completely mirrored to the other side. No difference. Just no windows here. I don't know if I'm going to put windows there. I don't think so. I want to use that whole back side for kind of like storage and stuff. For all of our logs but mm, i'm definitely gonna break up this roof looks too clean too pretty uh now for this one i think this side is gonna look really really cool i i don't know i think i just want to use dark oak as the roof uh for this little bit i'm not sure i don't think i want to just completely mirror it uh like i was looking over here i want to make it look a little different so i think i might do this whole thing out of dark oak and maybe do little bits of detail in the center like little windows right here and here and here even though you don't really need it uh but just out of spruce but make all this look a little different and just do a bunch of dark oak i don't know what do you think come with me Let, let's let's do it together now this part is super easy i'm thinking about just doing just this this is how I had it before. It looked kind of plain. It looked good, though. But a little Tudor style blocks just with uh, the spruce and the stripped oak. So watch this. Let me show you how I was thinking about this. So this is just going to go up like so. This one's going to go up like so. Uh, over here, we're going to go with the stripped. And this is just going to go up and down right here. This one's just going to go up and down right here. 
and then over here we're just gonna come in with the uh oak uh no, 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 this spruce a little spruce here a little spruce right there and then this part i'm just gonna go with this guy right here and we're just gonna go up and down right like so uh, let me use a placeholder block. There we go. So a little Tudor style right here. Just a little strip going up and down. Let's see. Let me see if I can jump over here. Parkour sausage is the best sausage. Like there. Look at that. Isn't that cool? You might not even see too much of this because the way we're going to go up and down now with a roof, uh, it might not even show. But this one, I'm going to go with a simple just up and down roof. Nothing too crazy like this. Just so it could stand out a little more. So we're just going to go up and down with this guy just like this. This is the center. I'm going to go with a simple little stair right here. And then we're going to parkour like the best uh, parkour in the world right there. Uh, and then just come back and check this out. Let's see what this looks like. Just like that. Just like that. And then this row is going to go all the way down like this. And it's going to meet up right here. We're going to upside down stare it. I don't know if I'm going to go upside down all the way. You know what? For now, I'm just going to go straight up right uh, like this. So we're just going to go straight up. Let me do this uh, quick. Off camera cam. I'm just going to go straight up and down just with this roof all the way down from one side to the other. And then we'll work on a little more details with the sawmill. Give me a second, though. This is wrong. Check this out. I'm loving this. Look at this. I, I actually came up with a really cool saw design, like right up the middle. Uh, I don't know how this would work. <laughs> we might even uh, do some kind of lever action. I have no idea. Uh, but this thing, just think of it. This is spinning like crazy right here. You drop this, uh, the log down right on this little area, and it has like a little dip down, so this kind of rolls in. Um, I don't know what we could do. Maybe we could put some like um, some track or something down there. You kind of think like it kind of rolls back and forth from this track or something. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, and then this kind of rolls around and it goes, you know, he just does his thing and then this comes out the other end and then we could maybe put some stacks of logs on here on that side uh this one i'm gonna build with you guys so i could uh, show you exactly how i built it um this we're gonna leave it open so then we could definitely put some tracks down on the bottom but uh, yeah let, let's get this started so uh we have it ready to go let's see how we do how did i do this again all right so we have right here in the center uh we're gonna put a little way up right here so let's put two of these stones here uh we're gonna put two of these stones right here middle track in the center uh, I got these cool little chisel stone bricks. So this is going to go right here and here with two walls, one on each side. So a wall here, a wall there, and then that's going to look super cool. It looks like it actually would work. Uh, and in the middle, we're going to have another chisel. Uh, and then I'll put the iron bars in a second. But for this part here, uh, we just have, um, I'm going to be mixing stone in here too, but let's just make it out of regular stone first so I can get a little outline going. So this is going to go kind of like around like so. Uh, and this is gonna be like a little border around here, boom. Uh, here we're gonna put a, uh, let's see, let's start putting the little uh, ways down. So there's gonna be a slab right here. Uh, I think we got a full block there, right? Yeah, a full block of cobble, which is right here and here. A little full block there, a stair here and here. So it's gonna look like it actually has like a way down <laughs> around it. Looking really, really cool. Uh, so this one's gonna go with just a full line of full block. I'm using slabs. I shouldn't be wasting my slab. It's fine. Then this is gonna, actually I have full block. Do I have full block? No, I ran out. I'll, uh, I'll go get some more. So we're gonna go. Let's see if we can just make this go all the way around. So this goes full block, full block, full block, and then this is all slab action, just all the way down like so, from here to this end. So it has a nice little dip down, uh, and then this part here. Actually, let's bring this down a little bit more. This goes all out right here, and I have a hole down there. Don't you even worry about it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I never filled that in. Uh, so we have this little line that goes all the way around again this goes like this this actually goes away and goes away bam right here perfecto uh and then this one will be a let's see a full block right there uh this is another full block actually right over get out of here thing there we go bam so this is gonna go right there uh and we ran out of full blocks it's okay uh and then this is gonna come around let's see so it's a stair here. Let's see, stair right there, stair right there. And then this is going to go in, let's see, slab and slab. So it's going to be another slab right there. And all these are slabs. So I'll fill this up in a second. And then let me show you how we did uh, this little uh, little twisted twist saw thing. Uh, so super simple. On the top, we have three right here, three right here. This is going to go out and one out one more. 
This is gonna go as the most circular I could have made this, so whatever. Uh, and then this, we're gonna go sneak down here. We're gonna put this down by two. And then this, we're gonna go around. And this is gonna go down by two. And then that's it. That's our actual saw mechanism. And then back here, we're just gonna go down like so, mix and match some of these guys. So that goes all the way around. On the tippy tops here, we have this guy and this guy. And then we're going to also mismatch right there some of these bad boys. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much it. I just need to put a full... But if anything, you know what? Let's just throw this in here for now. Uh, and then let's just throw this in here uh, for now. So that's one and two. And you know, we could mix and match stone down there. It doesn't have to be all cobble. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to mix some of this with uh, stone. Uh, let's see. Just a couple. Like so. And boop and uh, a poop and then down here. Oh, actually did I miss that um perp? I think I actually wanted to do something a little different for this little thing here This will be like a little way you can like stand still right here So you can hold this ends right there so the sawing can take place that actually looks awesome Let's do it on this side too. Uh, so then this is gonna go away here and then this is gonna go away here So we're gonna drop this in there. Oh, that is wrong that is completely wrong. And that is not even a pickaxe sausage. What's wrong with you? Uh, so then this is going to go here. And then this side is going to go right there. And that is looking awesome. In the middle here, we'll just replace all this up in a second. Uh, and you, we'll just put a bunch of randomness in there. Uh, so I think that is looking awesome. Let's take a look over here. Oh, yes. Wait, this is looking weird. Hold on. Oh, you go away. You go away. These are just, we could put slabs right there. So slab, slab. Perfect. There you go. So this is going to drop down. You're going to do the thing right there. And that's looking awesome right there. Oh, man. So that's it. So I'm going to leave that open. Uh, also, you know what? I'm going to mess up this floor a little bit, make it a little more trampled on. Uh, as far as details on the bottom side here. Hmm. Uh, what I'm thinking is maybe, uh, I don't know if I want to put any cross beams or anything too crazy. Uh, I might even come in here and do like a cross like right in there, but I don't really want to mess with, I don't think I want to put any cross beams or anything here on this side, because then if we do, it might break this up. I kind of like this open feel to it. Hmm. Maybe we just mess with this. Hold on. Let me do a little more off cam any cam work. Uh, just to detail this up a little bit. I might come in over here also and replace some of these stairs with some maybe full blocks or slabs just to break it up, make it a little more rustic rundown. And then also uh, in here. Oh, it's looking so good. Uh, I don't think I want to mess with this. Oh, I'm going to take this little piece out. That's not even supposed to be there. Hold on. Come here. Come, come. And it's just replacing. I gotta replace that. It's fine. Uh, so let's come in here. I'm gonna uh, do a little more detail work. Uh, maybe do like a little loft area with like an open middle. Have like a maybe a little stair up or a or a ladder up maybe. Maybe somewhere in the corner. Let's just set this all up. Let me do a little more detail work. I'll be right back with you guys. Not not too much left to do. The sawmill is pretty much done. I just want to set it up for a little more. Uh, a, a, a little more. This is stuff. It's some storage and stuff. <laughs> so give me a quick uh, second. I don't know if I want to do that overhang anymore. I think I might leave that overhang out. But give me a second. Let's do some more stuff. Uh, and I'll be right back with you. And I think we're almost done with this thing. And it's looking really good. Look at this. Get out of here, aesthetic bush. That is looking awesome. Oh, man. All right. Give me a second. I'll be right back. All right, big reveal time. It's ready to be shown. I've put a ton of details into this. I think this is literally my favorite saw mill, aka lumber mill that I've ever done. I don't know. I, I think it's my favorite. It's matching this world so cool, and I just love. Let, let me show you some stuff. We need some interior. I can't wait. Here we go. One, two, three. Reveal. Boom. There it is. Look how pretty. Holding this fish. I'm going to slap this thing with my fish. Oh, uh, but it's looking so, so cool. Added some flower boxes here. We did the overhang finally. I decided on it. It, it they did need a little bit of an extra uh, bit of detail on that front part. It's looking so, so good. I ended up putting the uh, the little wheels that we have here. It just makes it look really, really cool instead of our traditional button up there. So we put the Acacia Trapdoor in Jeremy Pack. It has that cool little add-on for a little wheel. And it's looking so cool, man. It gets a little bit of a Nordic feel to it. I don't know. I kind of like it. Uh, and then we added the traditional little uh, log pile here with uh, the rail. Uh, we added some dark oak, some spruce. We added a little one over here for some regular oak added some details here with some of the lovely barrel aka no blocks over here uh with some chests uh i beat up the roof a little bit on this a lot over here i didn't beat it up i made this one cleaner uh but i did add that little row here of your uh full block slab full block slab just like we did on the tippy top but i broke up this roof really cool i think it came out really nice we broke it up on both sides there i uh, added some path block this actually goes all the way around everything is ready to go here and oh look at this how cool so we added the rail down here too 
So this is what would be kind of dragging along the log. So this one's empty, one real, one is, you know, in, in, in not in use. This one might be broken. We should break it up. Like this one's in maintenance or something. Uh, but we have these little levers that kind of flick it up and down, get it started. Now coming over here on this side, uh, we have more path, more details. Oh, the god rays. And then we have, there we go. See, I added the, uh, the rail here too for your empty spots. So it's looking very, very cool. Uh, over here we added bigger log piles. Well, this is a little one, but then a big one here of our oak and a little bigger one here of dark oak. Looking awesome. We don't have any uh, birch. Nobody's buying birch, so don't worry about it. Uh, the details on this side, I love to look how nice. Added another flower box right there. Uh, and then when you come inside, check it out. This is literally super cool because you can actually use this idea if you guys are doing like a shop uh in in like let's say a single player or more like a multiplayer world not a single player world but in a multiplayer world if you want to have like um you're in an SP and you want to sell logs this is a pretty good setup for a log shop i'll tell you what come inside bam so it's a little dark in here, but whatever. Uh, so here we have little uh, mini piles. Uh, so right here, this will be for the uh, jungle. We have a section here for the dark oak, for the, um, which one is this? This is birch, I think. Is this is birch, it's stripped birch. They're all stripped, because I'm not putting regular birch in here. Um, so a little section here for, for birch. This is the spruce, this is the oak, and then we have a section for acacia. And then just a bunch of chests piled up. So you can have sections here for like full logs, strip logs, uh, regular log logs. <laughs> So you can have stuff like this. So I'm thinking down here is all the logs are gonna be down here. Uh, so we could definitely have like a double chest full of like regular logs. This will be the stripped one. So this will be the regular, um, the one without the cut. You know, the regular, the, the bark block. Uh, so that we have those set up down here. And then when you come up to the top, we have two sections, uh, ladders, lovely. And then check this out. Yes. Look at this, we got this nice little hanging chandelier looking lovely. This right here is on um, Germs Pack. This is the redstone torch looking so, so cool. And then up here, we have more strips with all the jungle, acacia, uh, birch, we have oak, we have dark oak and spruce. And then up here, you can have your slabs, your trap doors, your fences, your planks, stuff like that. So you can have up here and you have this little lofty area so you can look down and on the top, look at that detail. I put glowstone all on the top there. And these spaces right here, we have these trap doors. So Get the top all lit up very nicely. Uh, but yeah, check this out, right? Is it really, really cool? This is perfect. If you guys are literally looking for a log shop idea, use this thing. This is pretty cool for a lumber mill. Oh man, but that's it. That's all there is to it. <laughs> Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. I heard a little bit, but that's fine. But man, I'm in love with this shop, uh, AKA lumber mill. AKA sawmill. <laughs> so the perfect little spot. This is where we're gonna keep all my wood. Uh, and whenever we cut anything down from the tree orchard, which we'll probably do on the next one, we'll bring it over here and we'll set it up inside this little lumber slash sawmill. I'm in love. <laughs> but hopefully you guys love it too. I'm, oh, I'm so happy right now. So happy this is added to the farm area in this world. But before we go, we're gonna read out the comment question of the day from the last time. And it was a very good one. It was a very good one. I'm gonna just go ahead and go bum, 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 bing, big reveal. This is going to pop. There we go, Rosemary. So the question we ask is, what do you guys like doing besides Minecraft, besides video games? What do you guys like doing on your spare time? Rosemary went ahead, and this one, this one, this one touched me, touched me very deeply inside my heart. Uh, so she found this is what she said, Rosemary. I found that I really enjoy things in which I can create anything, endless possibilities. So for me, I draw, I write, crochet. That's probably why she loves Minecraft, and that's true. This is why a lot of people that like Minecraft, you guys are creators, man. You guys make stuff out of nothing, and this really, really. It struck me. So I, I, I love drawing. I love creating stuff. I like uh, just seeing all the possibilities in the world. You can start create something. Create. And this is really, really awesome. So Mary likes creating stuff just like me. And hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed uh, this uh, thing here that we created out of nothing. That's why we like Minecraft so much because literally endless possibilities of creation. And that really, really is my favorite part. Of your MC, <laughs> but thank you, everybody. It's nighttime outside. We're probably gonna end up getting shot by some some arrows, some some bad guys right behind the door. I bet you, if I open this door, they're right there. I'm not gonna even go outside. But thank you so much for watching. Get ready for the world tour. It's coming up very very soon. We got a couple more episodes to go here at the farm, just to make everything look really really cool. And uh, and, and we'll, we'll be ready. We'll be ready for episode 25, and then we'll be heading off to the new town very very soon too. But I'm out of here for now. Thank you everybody for watching, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Goodbye. I'm, I'm need this we're gonna we're gonna put these stuff in a nice place soon okay bye